Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to do something incredibly uh, bland. I'm going to make cauliflower cheese. This was requested by Kelvin Page back in April. It's something I assumed that I would have done some, some, sometime back in the depths of history, but actually I never have. Cauliflower cheese can be dreadful. It's so easy to overcook the cauliflower and it just becomes a kind of mush in a flavorless white sauce. So I'm gonna try, try and elevate it a little bit, not overcook the cauliflower and make a nice tasty sauce. So if you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. And let's get on with it. The blandest thing on the menu, cauliflower cheese. First thing to do is the cauliflower. You want a medium sized cauliflower, which I'll just weigh that. 730 grams, but we don't want the outside leaves, so we'll get rid of those. These will be good in some stock or compost. 625 grams. It's not actually massively critical, but uh, we need to break this down into florets. We need a cheese sauce and the base for that is 750 ml of milk infused with some flavour. So the flavour comes from a small onion, halved and quartered, a couple of cloves and a bay leaf. And you just microwave that for about 30 seconds to, to get the infusion going and leave it to infuse for at least 15 minutes, but you know, longer is not a problem. We'll just cut these florets into smaller florets because they are quite, quite large and chunky. So I've got about 100 grams of sharp crumbly cheese. This is Lancashire cheese, which, oh look at that, <laughs> it just crumbles without a grater. So we're not normally allowed to have this in Yorkshire, but I thought I'd, uh, you know, sneak some in and give it a go. Uh, this is to go in the sauce and for the topping you want about 25 grams of cheddar. To make the sauce you want to melt about 50 grams of butter in a heavy bottomed pan, frying pan, over a medium low heat and then stir in the same amount of flour and make it into a nice smooth paste. Let that cook for a couple of minutes and then add the milk, straining it through a sieve to remove the onion, bay leaf and cloves. Keep on cooking till the sauce thickens and stir it now and again while that's happening. If you want, you can add a teaspoon of mustard. While the sauce is gently simmering, bring a pan of salted water to the boil. Add the cauliflower and let it cook for just about four minutes. You just want it on the edge of cooked. Now drain the cauliflower and set it aside. You finish the sauce by adding the cheese, stir that in, get it melted and taste it and add salt if you want. And you can also stir in a teaspoon of nutmeg. Did I mention bacon? Might have done. If you're doing this as a vegetarian, obviously avert your eyes now. Chop it into little bits. I've drained the cauliflower and it's just sitting there on the pan for a bit. Now if you are using bacon you'll need to just fry it for a few minutes till it's brown. Now mix the cauliflower into the sauce and stir it well to get it all coated. Sprinkle grated cheddar on top. Then mix together some breadcrumbs with the bacon. Bought breadcrumbs, can you believe it? Now spread the breadcrumb mixture all over the top. Most recipes tell you to bake the cauliflower cheese in the oven and actually that's what turns the cauliflower to mush. So don't do that. I'm just going to put this under the grill or the broiler for about five minutes till it's golden and bubbling and lovely. All right, cauliflower cheese. Looks um, a bit fab. I think. Mmm. 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 <laughs> nice crunch from the breadcrumbs and nice zing from the sauce. Do 
do you know what? That is pretty fab. Get it down, yeah. So thanks for watching and see you next time.